Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to share with you a tool that I believe to be one of the best that I've used. It is certainly the easiest one that I've used to edit PDFs and if I'm a student or a teacher or someone that uses PDF a lot and I want to make some changes then this is definitely worth it. Now there is a free version which has a limitation and you will be able to unlimit that limitation i will share that with you but if you don't have the patience for that i do believe that the price is completely fair for what the software does and that is something that i want to share with you because i had a lot of fun now if you are looking for windows 10 or windows 11 home edition or pro edition keys don't forget to check out keys fan where we can find budget and official om keys and with the coupon code you may get windows 10 pro at 7 us dollars or windows 11 at 13 us dollars so just check the link down below you'll find also the link for you pdf down below so that you can uh, try it out download it for free and see if it is for yourself it is available for mac os windows android and ios now personally i do not like to edit things on my phone especially complex documents so i prefer mac or windows but you decide because the option is there now the main things that we will be able to do basically are we can comment we can edit we can convert we can protect organize cut and a lot more and i will share all that i've done with one of the pdfs that i have it's not mine by the way i did download this pdf for this example from pdf drive and you can see right over there on the image the credits and so on and so forth i will be using this pdf only for this tutorial right over here as an example start with the first feature which is reading feature we can open any pdf and i'm kidding that is an option but eh, yeah it's boring any pdf can do that any pdf reader now let's start with the first one well the second one which is the comment section i can uh, highlight for example any word that i want or any phrase in a very easy way as you can see right over there i can just select the word and then i can highlight with any color that i want so you can imagine that we can put a very colorful uh, document right over there we can also strike through if we want to just disregard this sentence right over here we can underline at any color as well and we can squiggly so we can put that small wave underneath the word or the sentence and this is my uh, favorite of all there are other tools that i'll share with you but this one for students for example i do believe that will enrich the pdf that we have either if we are studying it or if we are making it ready for other to study now let's move on to the third feature which is the editor this is really useful as well although it's not my favorite because my favorite was the past one this one we can for example change the font if we don't want that particular font that we receive on the pdf okay let's change the font we can also change between regular bold and italic we can increase the size of the font we can decrease we can change the justification of the text so it's uh, up to us and we can also change color of the text so this is just great how the software works in a very simple way so anyone as you can see can use it now next we can also organize our pdf this is very important in my opinion especially when we are working in groups or when we are working even alone and we are working in word for example and then we pass to pdf but along the line we will need to make changes and rearrange things here i don't need to go back to word i can do everything on my pdf so i can change the order of the pages i can replace pages i can extract one page for example this pdf that i'm working as 400 and something pages so i can just extract one i can insert new pages and those pages can be uh, pages already complete in pdf format or uh, also i can create new in blank i did one as an example i did add some text i did add an image and i also add a link to that image so that when people click it they will be targeted 
to the website that I want. We can also rotate pages, which might be useful, especially when we uh, copy pages to PDF and they are on the wrong position. And besides that, we can delete some pages and modify the document in general. So this particular document has 400 and something pages. And if I select uh, to put two pages per page, then it will reduce to half. And if I increase that number, it will reduce, reduce, reduce. Now, there is a point that probably we will not be able to read because the information will be very, very small. But this tool is also very interesting if you want to save paper when we are printing, printing that document. Fifth tool is about cutting. If we want to cut any page, then there is a tool for that. Let's say that there are parts of the page that I don't like there, or there are things that I just don't want on that page, then I can cut it and PDF will recognize that piece as one single page. Sixth feature is about watermarks and backgrounds. Now, in terms of the watermark, it works really nice. Uh, we can select the watermark through a text that we can just write. We can select vertical, horizontal, diagonal, or vertical on the other way. And we can select the size of the text. We can select the color, transparency. Uh, we can also select an image instead of text. I did use one of the beach uh, locally where I live and we can select the size and the transparency as well or we can add instead of an image a PDF that is already with the watermark. So this is also really nice and it will apply to the old document. Now besides that I can uh, change the background. Now the background is a little bit different of watermark. Now the watermark will go above everything text and images to try to protect, but the background, no. So the UPDF will do a great job. And as you can see right over there, it will go around text and images. So it's just not painting over everything. It is creating a real background at the back. Now we can use a solid color or we can use an image and you can see the difference right over there on screen. It is completely different from what we have on the watermark. We also have a tool that is interesting for the header and for the footer. Now, if we want to add something later, uh, what happens is that we always have to go back to the original file on Word and then edit and then save to PDF. With UPDF, we don't need that. So if we want to change the header and footer, or if we want to add header and footer, we can just like we add any other text to the document. So this is really nice as well. For those of you that organize PDF, or if you receive a PDF that it's already organized with bookmarks, then we can also delete and we can rename bookmarks or we can add more bookmarks, of course. And these are the main features, but there are a few more things that I want to share with you. Now, one of which is the OCR, which will um, detect text on pages that have an image, for example. If you digitalize a document, it will not have the text. So it will be an image and the image will not be recognized. With the UPDF, it will recognize that image as text so we can work as we have seen on this particular video like this PDF. So don't worry about the PDF that you have. It will work with the OCR recognition. You can also export PDFs right over here. We can download some optional plugins, which I did find it's great. We can save to PDF A, which is a format to long-term storage. Personally, I don't use, but the option is there. And we can also protect the PDF with password. And there are a lot of options. We can protect to read, we can protect to write. So there are a lot of options right over there. Finally, we can share uh, via the tool that UPDF has or via email to any of our friends or colleagues. That being said, as I said in the beginning, this is the most complete tool for PDF management that I've used so far. I believe that it's really rich for students and teachers and people that use PDFs a lot and want to customize the way that they would do with a normal pen. That being said, the free version will have a limitation, which is we can only save, edit one PDF per day. So this is a limitation. If that's okay for you, then great. You can just use the free version. But if you want more, there is one way, which is to share the PDF uh, with friends. And for each friend that you share, you will get one month free with all the features that you can. That being said, hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. This was UPDF. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.